we got a plethora of new exotics with Lightfall and Season of Defiance, and um, some of them are just amazing, but some of them apparently got disabled. Yes, I am talking about the Winterbite Exotic Glaive, and yes, it got disabled. Wow. Great. I thought the Glaive was so good, doing so many amounts of DPS, so much amounts of damage, and then Bungie goes like, oh yeah, we're gonna take it out, we're gonna disable it. So, okay, now with one of the exotic glaives that I was about to get that I was super hyped for is now gone, what do I look for in terms of glaives? Well, Season of Defiance will deliver two exotics. We have the first one able to get, which is the new exotic bow for the season, but we also have the Vexcalibur exotic glaive. Now, this is the seasonal exotic, remember, with seasons going forward after, I believe, Season of the Haunted. Seasons will only have around two exotics, so we have one more exotic, as well as we have the raid exotic, which will launch on March 10th, I believe. So I believe, yeah, that's when the Road of Nightmares raid will launch. So let's got all of our attention to the Vexcalibur Exotic Glaive. Now, the Vexcalibur Exotic Glaive is a interesting one, as we don't know anything. Well, until now, because I'm making a video on it, because you guys clicked the video for that. But also, if you did click this video, why not subscribe and, su and like? Because we are so close to 20k, guys. I want to do a live stream or something. We are literally like 300 subs away. So if you don't mind, subscribe, because that would mean a lot. So, let's get into some of the main little gritty type points that I want to point out. So, in terms of release date of this exotic glaive, similar to a lot of other seasons, we can expect this exotic glaive to launch on week 2 up to week 4. That's kind of the period I'm going to put for you guys. Unfortunately, JP Deathblade would usually help me out and tell us when this exotic glaive would launch, but weekly offerings are no longer in his website that he does in Today and Destiny, so it's kind of hard to pinpoint when this exotic will launch. I guarantee you I'm going going to put like a 90% bet it's going to launch in the month of March. So we could say week two to week four. Usually it's one that happens. So we could see it next week or week three or week four. And I could usually see it in any of those weeks. So if you're looking for a release date, yeah, March. That's really uh, the month I'm going to put my, my bet on. So now what's the exotic perks, Redrix? Because I want to know about this Excalibur exotic glaive. I want to know what it can do. I want to know what it is. So let's get into it. So my great friend Kel, and he's an awesome guy, let me know about some of the perks for this weapon. Now, can you, can I say, subject to change, and this is leaks, of course, so remember, you can't put 100% bets on things. However, we have a leak here, we're going to go into it. So the this weapon apparently fires seeking harpy projectiles that blind nearby enemies. Now let's take a minute. This exotic glaive looks very vexy. Like, it's a vexy glaive. It's a glaive that you're going to be, you know, shooting, and it's pretty, you know, vexy. So if you, this glaive apparently is going to shoot out harpy projectiles, it's going to be a glaive that is going to be really interesting in terms of that vex kind of synergy. So if you love the enemy race of the vex, if you love the lore, or you just like harpies, you're going to be able to shoot harpies with this glaive, similar to how Winterbite shoots stasis projectiles. So very interesting there. Now, one of the traits that it does is that meleeing enemies afflicted by your projectiles grants ammo to the mag and increased number of projectiles onto your next shot. That perk sounds a little bit overpowered, just saying, but it's very interesting on how they are going to deal with that. If we are able to just shoot as much projectiles, heartbeat projectiles as we want, and then you, you guys go and melee your friend in Crucible, let's say Bobby in Crucible, or you go melee that friendly harpy in PvE or in Gambit, and then you get more harpy projectiles because it loads more ammo, it's just going to be like, this isn't uh, a machine. I really hope, though, again, that this glaive is insane as... I really want an overpowered glaive. I just want one because I don't think we've had one. The exotic glaives are iffy from Witch Queen and then Winterbrite came out and now it's disabled. I really want this glaive to be insane. Now, the last piece of information in terms of the perks is that equipped with quick training shield, blocking damage with your shield gradually bestows void over shields to yourself and nearby allies. Holy crap. So hopefully this glaive, I believe, will be void now that you're saying it or it's kinetic. I don't know because we haven't had any indication on what it is. I believe it would be pretty cool to have a kinetic glaive. That would be amazing, but it could be an energy glaive as well. Now, this would help out if it is an energy glaive. It looks likely 
it could be Void as Void Overshields synergizing well with this would be really awesome. We have Winterbite that's Stasis, that's really cool, and we have all the exotic glaives for the different elements, but we don't have a glaive that's Void for all classes, correct me if I'm wrong, we haven't seen a glaive that's connected with Void Synergy for all three. So if this was a Void Glaive, then all three classes would be able to have it and would be very interesting. But already, being able, dude, guys, to just be able to block your, with your shield and then bestow Void Over Shields to yourself and nearby allies, if you're doing a Grandmaster or GM or some hard activity and you can just do that... Holy crap, that's going to make it so it's going to be much easier for you and your allies to just go in and slam. All you have to do is just block with your shield with this exotic, which is really interesting. Now, when I said that the release date will be either week 2 to week 4, I did also say that there is going to be... Well, I didn't say that there will be an exotic mission with this, and there's even more information we know about this. Now, in an exotic mission, when it releases around week 2 to week 4... With this exotic, we are likely going to get, well, we already know we're going to get confirmed, three exotic catalysts. Now, we don't know every exotic catalyst, you know, adjustment to this glaive, but three exotic catalysts. Now, if you guys know the Revision Zero exotic, the that exotic was pretty cool. It had four unique catalysts. It was an exotic no one really would see in the game because you would be able to grind out different catalysts for the weapon. We thought that was really interesting. Hawkman and DMT, you had to grind out for different roles. This one was different catalysts. It was a little experiment Bungie did, and I think people enjoyed it. It was like things that they could do each week to get them back into the mission. With the Vexcalibur, there will be another exotic mission this season, and hopefully it will suit into the exotic mission rotator in Season 22. That's a little bit sidetracked. But we will also get three exotic catalysts into the glaive. I'm guessing once a higher difficulty comes out, or a later time throughout Season of Defiance, April, May, before Season of the Deep, we will be able to have access to these three exotic catalysts. I find that very interesting. I don't know what you guys' thoughts on are with exotic catalysts, multiple ones on weapons. It's definitely a little, you know, taste on things as it really helps out with making the gun a bit more unique. If you like the gun this way and your friend likes the gun that way or dreams of it to be that way, you both can go grind for each of the catalysts and then you could pick and choose. Now, these exotic catalysts will have probably quests similar to Revision Zero and having to do objectives back and forth. And like I said, there's likely going to be a higher difficulty mode with this as Bungie usually loves list lifting the general difficulty of exotic missions. And that's something we have seen. And Revision Zero exotic mission did have that, which was pretty cool. So time will tell on when that will occur and how difficult it will be. But yeah, guys, Vexcalibur, that's going to be the new exotic late, the last exotic in Season of the Fines. It's going to launch hopefully soon. It looks very likely soon. And it will have three exotic catalysts with being the perk that it will shoot Vex projectiles and uh, apparently, you know, help out with void overshields. So it's a very interesting lave. I hope you guys are excited for this thing. Let me know your thoughts about it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.